Shaq Ben Minaj family. family. It's your girl Mac. It's Rosh But look, man, today we got Daniel Tosh. Um, title of this one is How Do 90% of Americans Have Jobs? But look, man, any other videos that y'all want to see us react to on the channel, just drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But look, man, let's get to this video. Let's get to it. It is great to be here in America. Oh, yeah. The greatest country in the world. If you haven't traveled a lot. <laughs> Do we have to constantly scream we're number one? It's always the people that live in the most boring parts of this country that scream the loudest. People in Kansas, we're the greatest country in the world. It's like, do you guys have internet there? You ever seen a photo of Fiji? I've never been to Fiji, but I've seen photos. It looks pretty amazing. It's hard to think we're better than that. We're top 10. Maybe if we started screaming that every day, maybe terrorists would stop trying to saw our heads off. We're top 10. And they'd be like, that's fair. It was that number one stuff that was getting old. America's basically turned into one of these factories where we just have a sign up. Like, it's been 22 days since our last horrible thing. And it's like, oh, all right, rip it down. We're back at zero again. These things just keep happening, you know, whether it's Ferguson or Baltimore. I can solve racist cops. That's an easy fix. But nobody comes to me for the answers. You want to get rid of that forever? How about this? Only black people should be allowed to be cops. Boom, problem solved. And if any of you have issue with this, it's because you're racist. <laughs> well, what about white people? White people can be firefighters. We're more outdoorsy. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> white people, firefighters, black people, cops. Who wants tickets to the softball game now? <laughs> yeah, it's going to get pretty tense. Might want to put in a mercy rule. And the next time we have one of these tragedies, inevitably we will, and you happen to be so unfortunate enough to know the person that's being accused of the crime, do us all a favor and don't get on TV the next day and be like, I lived next to him for 32 years. I never could have seen this coming. Maybe you should be locked up for six months. I find nothing more disrespectful. You never could have seen it coming. I've never met anyone in my entire life that I couldn't wrap my brain around the fact that they are capable of awful things. Literally no one. My mom could blow up a nursery. And if you put me on TV the next day and I was completely honest with myself, I'd be like, I can fucking see it. No, it makes sense. Sometimes when I was a kid, I'd come home from school. She wasn't happy to see me. I think she hates children. Ladies, know that every man you're sitting next to tonight, if you could get into their head and see every thought they have ever had, you would immediately pull out a gun and blow your head off. Because trust me, they're capable of anything. All day long, every day, nothing but twisted, weird, awful shit is just going round and round and round. And what do you do at night? You snuggle up next to them because you're so happy that you're not alone. And I think that says more about you. That notion that your parents raised you on stand by your man, if you're insane. The second your man gets accused of anything, you immediately distance yourself. Just be like, I don't know what the fuck he's into. And buy clothes in the next town, we'll forgive you. By the way, I do love this country. We're the only place with any diversity. The entire planet's segregated. You realize that when you watch international sports. Like I was trying to watch the World Cup, uh, despite hating it. I get it, soccer is the most popular sport on the planet. That's because half the world can't afford AC. <laughs> and that's about how long you have to run just to get tired enough to fall asleep in these godforsaken countries. <laughs> you ever try to gamble on soccer? What's the over under? 0.5? Mm. How much time's left? It's a secret. I'm out. <laughs> but we have diversity. Other teams don't. Or if you look at the Olympics, you look at our uh, U.S. gymnastics squad. We have an Asian girl, a white girl, a black girl. Look at the Chinese squad. 
Any guesses? <laughs> Did you guess exclusively Chinese bitches? <laughs> yeah, that's all that's ever been on that team. That's all that will ever be on that team. And they wonder why they're not getting golds anymore. Well, you better get a Harlem in China. <laughs> you think snapping together iPads all day is tough? <laughs> It is not as tough as it used to be. Now they have suicide nets around their building so they can jump out, bounce right back. Sorry, boss, just need some fresh air. Back to making Americans more stuff. You got it. This is a tough joke to do as a white comedian, but here goes. Because where this country is now from where we came from is pretty remarkable. There's nothing more shameful in our country's past than slavery. Okay, that's horrible. But I've grown up in a generation where I've idolized black people my entire life. They are better at everything. So the fact that we pulled off slavery, I've already said it's awful. That's off the table. I'm just saying it's kind of neat. I mean, at any point, they could have been like, you know we can just run away, right? And you will never catch us. And if you do, we will beat the living shit out of you. All right. That's about how well that joke should go over. There's a fine line between appreciating the sarcasm and, ooh, this feels like a rally. And you did well. That's a joke I do not do everywhere. That's a joke. If the audience gets a little too excited, I shut it down. You start hearing a couple yee-haws, troubles are brewing. As soon as yee-haw hits a certain octave, hate crime in T minus 10, nine. The unemployment rate in our country is around six and a half percent. I'm told that's pretty good. I could care less. I wish a president would have the balls to say what I'm about to. 10% of Americans don't deserve jobs. Good night. <laughs> like, that's a number I can get my head around. Of course, there's exceptions to that. That's not who we're talking about. But if you don't think 10% of Americans are lazy pieces of shit, then you have never traveled anywhere. <laughs> because the number that blows me away is that over 90% of Americans have jobs. Who the fuck is hiring you morons? <laughs> because I wouldn't. The sense of entitlement, everyone thinks they deserve more than they have. No one's content. Young kids, I won't even talk to them anymore because you parents have done just a bang up job. <laughs> if I meet one more kid and ask him what he wants to do when he gets older and he replies, I'll be famous like you, I'm gonna kick him in his teeth. <laughs> You're never gonna be famous. Never. You have no chance. I didn't get here because I work hard. I have a gift from God. Everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame, buddy. Excuse me? That's an average. Yeah, that's zero for you, 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 you. Zero, 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 zero. 20 years, zero, 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 zero. Everybody gets 15 minutes. You know Andy Warhol was on drugs when he said that, right? He didn't think he'd be quoted for the rest of eternity, let alone taken seriously as an artist. You ever go into like a cute local cafe and an artist has their work for sale on the walls. Has anybody ever not walked up, looked at the price and gone, who the fuck do they think they are? <laughs> Just once I'd like to walk into somebody's home and be like, wow, that is a beautiful piece. Where did you get it? And they're like, oh, funny story. I was getting a spinach wrap the other day for lunch and I had $750 burning a hole in my pocket. And I was like, hey guys, unbolt this from your urinal and get it into my living room. You know what the unemployment rate in China is? Neither do I, because I'm American and fucking stupid. It's gotta be low, right? Those people get up at three in the morning to practice the violin for four and a half hours, then they work on math for 12 hours, and whatever's left, they're ninjas. If you think for one second we will ever catch up with them, you are out of your mind. Just sit at home and be patient until they take over. And quite frankly, they deserve our country. I go, oh shit, China's here. Do we take... Oh shit. Hey, yeah. his face expressions, man, he'd be so serious.
over. He's Quite frankly, they deserve our country. I go, oh, shit, China's here. Do we take off our shoes? How does this work? Hey, man, he's hilarious, man. Shout out Daniel Tosh, man. But look, man, any other videos that y'all want to see us react to on the channel, just drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, subscribe to the channel. channel. But look, man, we catch y'all in the next video. video.